Now, there is nothing of which a man is prouder than of intellectual ability, for it is this that gives him his commanding place in the animal world. It is an exceedingly rash thing to let anyone see that you are decidedly superior to him in this respect, and to let other people see it too, because he will then thirst for revenge. Arthur Schopenhauer is not always concerned with great metaphysical or ethical ideas concerning the nature of reality and the universe. In writings other than his main work, written near the end of his life, he takes it upon himself to give his readers practical advice for day-to-day -day life. A lot of his advice deals with the question of how to move through society. And invariably, Schopenhauer's elitism will shine true. Without shame, Schopenhauer writes about the dumb masses versus the intelligent genius, and how such a genius should conduct himself in polite society. We have seen in a previous video how Schopenhauer advises strategic withdrawal from society in order to develop one's talents and not be dragged down by the rest. But living in society is inescapable. When a person of great intellect is forced to mingle in polite company, the best thing to do, according to Schopenhauer, is to play dumb. It is a real recommendation to be stupid. For just as warmth is agreeable to the body, so it does the mind good to feel its superiority and a man will seek company likely to give him this feeling as instinctively as he will approach the fireplace or walk in the sun if he wants to get warm. The reason why it pays so well to play dumb is because intelligence in other people rouses a great feeling of resentment and envy. Schopenhauer makes the following psychological sketch. Assume two people are having a conversation. Now, a man feels and perceives that the person with whom he is conversing is intellectually very much his superior. What happens next is that this person reasons that his conversation partner must have a low opinion of him. After all, he's so much smarter than himself, how could he not believe he is stupid? This is a method of reasoning which rouses the bitterest feelings of sullen and rancorous hatred. Notice that in this scenario, the smart person hasn't done anything wrong. He simply forgot to play dumb, which made the other guy realize he's not as smart as him, which made him jealous, which made him hate his conversation partner, even if only secretly and subconsciously. Intelligence is the object of so much envy because we do not feel like we deserve our intelligence. To have it means you are in possession of an unfair advantage which you did not earn yourself. The same psychology is at play when we are jealous of someone who inherited a large sum of money. It doesn't matter if it's a legitimately good businessman or investor and if he took great care to increase his inheritance instead of wasting it. If this person would flaunt his wealth and rub it in your face how much money he has, we wouldn't really like him, to say the least. Aim is true of intelligence. It's regarded as something to which its possessor has no legitimate right and upon which he dares to pride himself. A man may be as humble as possible in his demeanor and yet hardly ever get people to overlook his crime in standing intellectually above them. In order to get ahead, it pays to play dumb. He quotes approvingly from Balthazar Gracian's Oracle of Worldly Wisdom, one of his favorite texts. To be well liked, one must dress in the skin of the simplest of animals. This entire short little book, by the way, comes highly recommended. We'll leave a link in the description to our preferred translation. Schopenhauer had to learn the lesson of playing dumb the hard way. Consider the following letter his own mother sent him when Schopenhauer was just 19 years old. All of your good qualities become obscured by your super cleverness and are made useless to the world merely because of your rage at wanting to know everything better than others, of wanting to improve and master what you cannot command. With this you embitter the people around you. The relationship between Schopenhauer and his mother is worth an entire video on its own, and we'll release one on the subject in due time. Meanwhile, we'll leave you with Schopenhauer's own closing words on the subject of playing dumb. These remarks are applicable not only to advancement in political life, but to all competition for places of honor and dignity, nay, even for reputation in the world of science, literature, and art. In learned societies, for example, mediocrity, that very acceptable quality, is always to the fore, whilst merit meets with tardy recognition or with none at all. So it is in everything. If you're curious to learn more practical advice from Schopenhauer, we recommend watching our big video on Schopenhauer's Guide to Happiness, as well as our video on solitude and dealing with society. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.